What's good? It's Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast, and Kendrick Lamar's song All Right became the triumphant centerpiece of his 2015 album To Pimp a Butterfly. Not to mention, the track became one of Kendrick's most recognizable songs. It combined a chant friendly hook with buoyant production from Pharrell, and many would say back at the time it was released, it became an unofficial anthem to the Black Lives Matter movement. But one interesting fact that came to light recently was that All Right almost never made it on the album. In the latest episode of Spotify's The Big Hit Show podcast, producer Soundwave explained that All Right was a last minute addition to To Pimp a Butterfly. Soundwave recalled Pharrell playing beats for Kendrick Lamar in the studio when a Sony executive named Sam Taylor pulled him to the side and played a track Pharrell originally made for another artist. Soundwave said, he plays me the skeleton of All Right and I just remember my jaw drop. It was literally just the 808s and keys and Pharrell had the melody of we gonna be all right. And I was like, bro, what is this? Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. And I immediately run and I was like, Dot, you have to come hear this. He plays it for Dot, Dot stopped everything he was doing and starts to write All Right. Now, despite falling in love with the beat, Kendrick actually struggled to find a place for All Right on To Pimp a Butterfly. However, Soundwave refused to let the record go to waste, and with the help of saxophonist Terrace Martin, he perfected the song to Kendrick's liking. I literally have to go back in, last second of the album, like literally at the crunch time, I think we had one more day, and added drums to it. That same day, Soundwave brought in another member of To Pimp a Butterfly's core production team. Terrace Martin to add a sax part to the song. And I just remember about three hours, just me and Terrace locked in that room. We came out, I, like, I think we got something. Made it for Kendrick. And I just remember him, his eyes lit up. It's like, we did it. This is finally it. So after hearing this entire story from Soundwave and thinking about the fact that All Right might have never made it onto Pimp a Butterfly, do you think To Pimp a Butterfly would have still been the classic it is if All Right never made it on there? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast and keep it locked in to Hip Hop DX.